Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Among Us beta. The reason you might want to get the Among Us beta is just for some of the new added features that I'll be showing you later in the video, or maybe one of your favorite Twitch streamers was using it. Whatever the reason, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is open up Steam on your computer. After that, you want to go to the left side of your screen, and then you should see where you go and open up Among Us, and you just want to right click on that. After you do that, you want to go down to Properties, and just go ahead and press on it. After you do that, it will bring up this window right here. And in this window, you can see there's a general update local files, but the last one is called beta. You just want to go ahead and press on that. And as you can see, I already have the beta selected, but for you, it won't be selected. It will be put on none, but you just want to go ahead and go to this drop down and select public beta. And then you can just go ahead and close it and then it will like take two seconds to update. And then the beta will be installed and you can just go ahead and start playing. And I know you guys might be asking now, Jeff, what is the new features that this beta offers? Well, let me tell you. So if you're the host of the game and go over to the computer, press customize and go over to the game, you can see some new game features that you can apply to your game. One of the ones being that you can select that all votes are anonymous. So nobody knows who voted for who. And to apply it, just hit that checkbox right there and you'll be all ready to go. So the next feature is taskbar updates. So here you can select in your game what time the taskbar updates. So you can have it selected to update whenever somebody does a task. You can have it do it only after meetings. So like right after emergency meetings. And finally, you can just have it to never update. So it adds another layer of suspense and just being significantly more hard. Also, in my opinion, one of the coolest features is whenever somebody calls a meeting or something's reported, Everybody in the meeting, it just doesn't show their color, it also shows what they were wearing. And I really think this also minimizes confusion, and this also helps with colorblind people. So I think that's really cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if this tutorial helped, make sure to give this video a like, and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on more Among Us tutorials just like this. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.